hello everyone welcome to institute biomata chemistry genius today in this video we are going to talk about your abnormal lymatamer reaction okay so normal lymatamer reaction happens right in the presence of an aromatic compound but here see it is also an aromatic compound but it is heterocyclic heterocyclic means the compound which contains any other uh, element other than your carbon see here it has an aromatic group uh, you can say 4n plus 2 huckel's rule it follows so this is pyrrole pyrrole and thiophene with this two types of uh, molecule will show you the abnormal trimetamer reaction so anyone which has other than nitrogen uh, other than carbon and uh, it takes place then we say it to be abnormal trimetamer reaction so see here again first the NaOH there is OH base which actually takes up the hydrogen and then you form your water molecules and CCl Cl Cl that means CCl3 and there is a minus ion on the carbon atom and now what happens is that this minus sign will uh, actually come into the form will form a, you can say a lone pair on carbon and there there is a removal of your chlorine molecule and this forms your dichlorocarbene intermediate which is your uh, intermediate molecule which will take part in the reaction mechanism so now we will see what happens is that this HO minus ion first takes up the proton which is present in your uh, you can say which is present in your pyrrol okay so it is going to take up your proton and then there is a minus sign on the nitrogen atom and the water molecule is formed now see here there is a minus sign and uh, there is a lone pair also on nitrogen atom okay so now what happens is that this c minus cl2 it is going to react okay see in lone pair on nitrogen atom it will take part in the resonance so the arrows if you remove, move like this you are going to get your c cl2 that is your electron rich carbon dichlorocarbon molecule will come and uh, attach itself to the electron division carbon center of your pyrrole ring now see here again there is a uh, this way you just uh, you please uh, whenever you are writing the lone pairs or you can say the double bond just uh, follow the previous step properly okay so the step four is now what will happen is that the cl minus uh, minus sign on the carbon atom actually takes up your hydrogen and it forms ch cl2 molecule okay and now see now this uh, chlorine ion because of uh, they are very big living groups okay in presence of OH minus ion they are very uh, good living groups so they will leave the molecule okay by giving you uh, OH and OH is going to go and add to the carbon atom now the removal of your water molecule so small molecule the removal of small water molecule from this compound gives you C double bond O H that means an aldehyde group is now attached to your pyrrol ring now see nitrogen because it has access of uh, you can say it, uh, it again takes plus your proton to form your pyrrol ring okay so this see this way we get an aldehyde group attached to the heterocyclic compounds same way uh, we did with the benzene ring uh, molecule okay so this is nothing but your heterocyclic compound or your abnormal dimetimer reaction now there is two product which comes in this case uh, see here here if this my uh, there is see if there is a uh, you can say the shift electron shift if if it takes place like this uh, within the molecule okay so it forms uh, you can say cyclic intermediate in this way then there is a formation of your uh, you can say pyridine ring with chlorine uh, atom so this is also another you can say byproduct of this reaction so now thiophene how is thiophene undergoing your rimatimer reaction we will see next okay so when we see the mechanism of this reaction mechanism when we talk about that time we understand what is the product going to happen and if once if you understand the reaction mechanism any product any reaction you can understand what will be the product very easily okay so this is this rimatimer reaction that means the addition of the aldehyde group onto the ring 
thing okay same similarly same way in this case of thiophene also the step one is always the same formation of your dichlorocarbene intermediate is formed by the removal of water molecule and the chlorine minus is removed and the two six electron system so is dichlorocarbon is formed and it is uh, it is very much reactive okay the step two is again see this thiophene now this thiophene does not have a proton okay so what it will do it will the OH minus is not going to take up any proton it will directly shift the electron this way and will go and attack that means C minus minus Cl2 which is your dichlorocarbon is going to attack the ring and it is again taking the proton from the ring which ha it has so this way if it takes up the proton then the electron comes back to the hyphen so the resonance it is stabilized now again if you react with water molecule uh, sorry HO minus ion it will go and replace the chlorine uh, from its place it, because chlorine is a very good leaving group and it's larger in size also so it is going to go and attack and it you will have two OH group attached to it now removal of water molecule gives you your uh, thiophene aldehyde is attached to this group so this is your abnormal rheumatoma reaction this is called your abnormal rheumatoma reaction okay so if you like the video do watch other videos from the channel and if you are new to the channel do subscribe the channel thank you